everybody, welcome back to the brand new release preview video. We're doing this late night Thursday as release day is upon us for this. So we'll re release it right around midnight, this video. But it's 2021 Bowman Draft. It's the Jumbo Box. I also have Super Boxes as well. We'll start out and do the Jumbos first. We were supposed to have an auction tonight. We we're also supposed to have a 12.01 a.m. live break of uh, s several cases of this product. But... You know, life uh, sometimes, you know, pops up. And uh, my kids are all sick with fevers, so I'm going to be monitoring them tonight. And we will reschedule this break, this case break, for tomorrow. So we're just pushing it back basically about 12 hours. We'll do it a little bit after lunchtime, probably like 12.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I know that tomorrow is New Year's Eve, and a lot of you have got plans and stuff like that. So uh, you probably don't want to be sitting here at 11 p.m., um, I, mean, I don't know, maybe some of you are going to be watching the ball drop, watching Dick Clark's New Year's Rockin' Eve with, uh, who, who still does that? Is that Ryan Seacrest that does it now? I don't know. But well, let's go ahead and open this up right now. So this is the Bowman Jumbo Box. They go for around $400 a box. There's three autographs per Jumbo Box. There's also 384 total cards. You're going to get a whole lot of cards if you buy a Jumbo Box. Now, there's only 200 cards in the base paper set, so you get a nice big chunk of it that you'll be able to crank out there you also get a nice chunk of the chrome cards as well in a pack breakdown there are going to be 23 base cards and seven base chrome cards you also get a couple of refractors in each pack as well now i'm selling this in tomorrow's break buy the pack if you'd like it you can buy just one pack or you can buy an entire box if you would like to again three autographs per box let's bring our sponsor it's scott cochran i think i may have accidentally put an e on your name sorry i'm very very tired i think i've slept uh I think I maybe slept maybe six hours the last two days. Just been a crazy, uh, crazy, crazy week. But anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Scott, good luck to you. Henry Davis is the guy we're after. He was the number one overall pick in the draft. Also, we're looking for Marcel, Marcelo Mayer as well, along with a whole bunch of other of the top prospects. Marcelo Mayer was the Red Sox fourth overall pick. Now, second overall, Jack Leiter. I, I was curious about him. He's not in here. I looked up the checklist. I control searched Leiter and nothing. So I don't know what's the deal with Jack Ladder. Maybe he's uh, playing a little bit of hardball to get the uh, rights to him or his image. But most of the other big guys are in here from the first round. That's what we're looking for. But there's also a lot of nice prospects in here from previous rounds. You'll be seeing guys like Spencer Torkelson and the like in here. All right, Scott, best of luck to you. Again, I apologize on misspelling your last name. I'm actually going to double check that. Yep, I misspelled it all right. So let's just uh, let's let's turn that into a star. There we go, Scott Cochran star. Terrible, terrible uh, editing there, but it's it's uh, it is what it is. Here we go, folks. Bowman Draft 2001 32 card 2021. Man, it is a little bit late right now, and I'm tired. But here are all of the odds. You can read through that. A little easier to read when it's on the white wrapping instead of the uh, like um, silver cellophane, like we saw a little bit earlier today when we had 2005. Tops update. That was a very good box. You should maybe check that out if you have time. Nice cards in there. And away we go, folks. Here we go, please. That could be Henry Davis right there. And look at that. That's pretty awesome. It's a blue. You're going to see some firsts. Now, whenever you have boom and draft, you always want to try to find the first position player cards. They're usually a little bit better. Generally, there's John Rhodes. We've got Andy Rodriguez, Micah Oten Bright. Now, this is the last set of Bowman. It kind of wraps it all up, puts in a nice little bow on the whole set of all the different Bowman releases that we had this year. Bowman, you know, regular Bowman, first edition Bowman, Bowman Chrome, all the different uh, release options you had for Bowman Chrome. It was like the Bowman Chrome Light and the Hobby, the Jumbos. All right, so just take a second here and continue with this. Po Yu Chen from the Buccos. Dominic Hamill, you, you're not, there he is. That is an awesome card right there. Henry Davis, number one overall in the draft. Now, if I'm not mistaken, these baby blues aren't numbered, and I am mistaken. It is out of 499. That is a great card right there. Congratulations, Scott. That's the type of card that you wanna find. If I can read off you the big names, we'll just talk about the top five, we'll do top 10, I guess. We got Henry Davis. Now, Jack Ladder's not in here. Jackson Joby is another really big one. He is uh, the third overall pick in the draft, pitcher for the Tigers. Tigers have been having some high draft picks. All that talent's going to come home to roost in a couple years when guys like Torkelson, you know, Casey Mize is, is uh, you know, on the verge of a breakout, I think. And uh, we'll see what Jackson Joby has as well. Now, he is 
I believe he is out of high school, so it might take him a little bit longer. There's Alexander Mojica. That's a refractor. We've already seen that one. J.J. Blade. I like that one a lot. I didn't know J.J. Blade is from my area, which is kind of cool. Cody Morissette first. That is not a bad one. But in, in addition to Jackson Joby, Jeter Downs, you've been seeing him for a while now. Marcella Mayer, who's on the front of the box, would be a nice one. Colton Kowser is another one that you want to uh, keep your eye on. The Pirates are actually, remember there was talk about maybe him going first overall. There's Blaze Jordan, really nice prospect right there. Pedro Leon found a lot of his autographs in previous, in, in, was it incarnations of Bowman and Jay Allen. So we have 11 packs left. Lots of time to find some good stuff. Jordan Lawler is another nice one. He was sixth overall. Frank Mazzucato from the uh, KC Royals. Benny Montgomery, Sam Bachman. Now 10th overall is Kumar Rocker. And Kumar Rocker had a little issue where the Mets saw something on his health report. On I don't know if it was an MRI or what. There's Zach Veen. That's a nice one. Luis Rodriguez, another nice one. He was the one of the big, big hits in uh, Bowman Chrome. Tyler Soderstrom, first overall or first rounder for the for the A's last year. Marco Luciano is a huge prospect. I really hope we can find one of his autographs there's Mojica once again there's Elrod Luis Rodriguez keep that name in mind Dalen Lyle first Austin Hedrick I'm a big fan of him and pulling for him I like you know, Hendrick Penango's name it's just kind of crazy uh kind of hard to forget there's Joe Mack Bowman draft night Joe Mack looks super happy right there Joe Mack was not a first rounder that uh that I can tell we got Rick Elvin De Castro Alexander Vargas and now we're back to the base. You want to find the ones with the first Bowmans on it. There's Jaden Hill, and there's the big boy right there. Spencer Torkelson. I like that one a lot. Uh, I hope we can find his autograph today. Austin Love there. And we're going to finish this up. Will Bednar, first pick by the Giants. He was, what was he? Will Bednar, 14th overall. He actually is from the Pittsburgh area, and this guy is lights out. So I'm rooting for him. I like the local guys. If you can't tell, guys like Austin Hendrick, J.J. Blade, and there he is, Marcelo Mayer, who was on the front of the box. He was the fourth overall pick. He was a shortstop coming out of high school and uh, could be a big name. So those are some of the names we're after. I know it's kind of tough, folks. It's tough for me, too, to learn all these new names. It's like, oh, man, I just got all the top guys from Bowman Chrome down from a couple months ago. Now I have to learn all these new ones. Luckily, some of you guys are crazy good with prospects and huge prospectors, so feel free to drop in the chat who you think the best cards are. Drop, Leave a comment. What are the best cards, the best first you can find? Give me your list. Give me your top five or top ten, whatever. I'd be interested to see some feedback there. There's a Connor Norby. I'm not the greatest prospect guy. Like I, I can look and see who was drafted where, and there we go. That is good news. It's an Aaron Zavala. Now, Aaron Zavala is a position player, so that's what we want to find from the Philadelphia Phillies. He was a second rounder, 38th overall, so kind of a high pick right there for the Texas Rangers, just at the very beginning of the second round. There's the first round, there's competitive balance where there's like six picks in there or so, and then Aaron Zavala, that is a huge good hit right there, in my opinion. You get somebody that's uh, that high. I mean, you could have got like a fifth rounder that no one's going to really care about, but good hit right there, Aaron Zavala. And it's a position player, which just sweetens the pot. There's Henry Davis, another nice one of him. I like Henry Davis cards. I don't own one yet. This is the first opportunity this week that you can find an actual Henry Davis card in Bowman Draft and also, of course, Elite Extradition. We'll be doing that. I'll probably couple that up with Bowman Draft tomorrow. And we'll do that both at once before all the New Year's festivities begin. I'm selling these on Patreon right now. we got Dante Williams first right there. Michael McGreevy. Julio Carreras and Isaac Pacheco from the Tigers. Brett Beatty, I've been waiting on things from him. Looks like he's number 96. That picture might have been taken in spring training. But Brett Beatty, top prospect. I've got one of his autographs some, somewhere. I think he may have fallen off just a little bit on the depth chart. But uh, we'll see. There's Gunnar Henderson, Ryan Spikes. That is a good baseball name right there. Ryan Spikes, I like it. Good, good name. We've got a Cal Conley first. There's Harry Berto, Hernandez, Jackson, Joby. There he is, the third overall pick. We're looking for him. So if you can't remember anything, think Henry Davis. Jack Ladder doesn't have a card, at least that I saw on the checklist. Henry Davis, Jackson, Joby, Marcelo Mayer. If that's all you can remember, those are the top three you're looking for. You can start there. And we have an upside-down card. Why? Are they faking us out? That'd be cool if there's two autos. All right, we've got a Hendrick Penango out of 199. Nice little teal. It is not numbered. Teal parallel. Oh, it is. there it is, out of 199. What am I doing? It is late, folks. It is very late, and I am tired. We went for a nice 
little walk today to try to get some fresh air into the kids' lungs there. It was so nice here. It was like 57 degrees. But, uh, you know, the fevers are coming down a little bit now. With uh, with nighttime, that's when fevers can spike. So you got to constantly monitor the little guys. All right, next uh, we've got a Gavin Williams first Bowman to finish that one off. So we're through with one stack. We have one autograph. It might be on average one. It should be on average. I mean, we can divide three by three, right? There should be one auto per stack. There's Kevin Alcantara now on the Cubs, part of that trade with the Yankees. Wes Kath. That's kind of a goofy face he's making right there. He's almost like uh, laughing about a terrible pop-up hit. Maybe he was expecting a little more from a hitter, but West Cath, kind of like the name, kind of a cool short name, West Cath. I like it. Leo Piguero, that's his second ever Bowman card. He was part of the big um, mistake, la not even last year, like in 2021 Bowman, the first edition there. The first release, the flagship release, they forgot to put the first on his card. So every now and then you can find that card just kind of mired in a 10 cent box somewhere and definitely grab it if you can. Alex Benelas. Next up, we have a Yvonne Herrera, probably hair apparent to Yachty Molina. I think Yachty's got one year left and then it's going to be his job in St. Louis. Got another Penango. Man, they like to give you Penangos, and that is a good one. Ronnie Mauricio, it's a green speckle numbered out of 99, 20 out of 99. Chase Petty, nice looking card right there. We also have a Christian Encarnacion Strand. Ben Kud Kuderna first. He wasn't the Royals number one. Frank Mazzucato was. I don't know where he was. I guess I should have studied all the different rounds, but uh, it's, it's a lot of studying. And I, you know, I, I guess I probably should, should have memorized the top 10 rounds. Eventually, we'll get to know who the best guys are. So basically, what happens is you get a new release. And then you start to realize on eBay, they just stand out. Like, you'll see cards that are going for way more than other cards. You're like, okay, I need to find that guy. So if you're not sure who's the best, um, you can read the comments from our prospectors below. Or you can just wait a couple days and go on eBay and see what these are going for and see who's who's the big autos that are the most amount of money. Francisco Alvarez is a nice prospect. You'll be seeing him in the big leagues before too long, and that is a nice one. Bobby White Jr., base paper. Lonnie White Jr. Hmm. Lonnie White Jr. There's Adley Rushman. Robert Powelson. We've got Gunnar Henderson. And are we going to have an autograph here? Let's see. Rumini Barra. It doesn't look like it. There's Marcela Mayer. Once again, franchise future card. We've got our refractors of Gunnar Henderson and Hedbert Perez. His autographs were in Bowman Chrome. A couple months ago, I think I may have pulled one out of a personal box for myself. Eric Pena is a good prospect. There he is, Aaron Savala. He's the man of the uh, the break so far. The only autograph that we've found has been Aaron Savala. You see him on the screen right there, awaiting anxiously another auto. I bet you it's got to be in this pack of the next. There should be one in each stack. You even it up a little bit. You can't just uh, put them all in a corner of the box. And there he is, Frank Mazzucante. We talked about him a little bit earlier, seventh overall in the draft. You know, the Royals fans are happy to see him. And Heston Kirstad is a, a nice one, second overall in last year's pick. And Jason Dominguez, man, he's going to be a big boy. Look how he's filling out already. He's, what is he, like 18 years old? You will likely see him in the big leagues at some point. Doesn't give us any stats there, unfortunately. I don't know why they can't just throw the 2021 stats on there. It's been a few months. Come on. Get him on there. <laughs> There's Austin Martin in his twins uniform back in the day. He was the number one guy to go after. J.C. Correa, who I believe, is he related to Carlos Correa? I bet you he is. Yep, younger brother of Carlos Correa, so keep that name in mind. Kind of cool. Shailene Polanco, he had a nice card in Bowman Chrome. There's Joe Mack once again. Ravis Martinez times two, one of his Chrome cards. Nelvi Marte is a big name. You Mariners fans out there, you're going to have some fun the next few years with all these prospects. And there we go. We have a blue. It is a first, which is extra good. And it is Robert Gasser from the San Diego Padres. Let's see if I can make out the number on the side. It is a uh, number out of 150. Robert Gasser, nice prospect. He was... Uh, he was selected between the second and third round, it looks like. Competitive balance round B. So right after the second round, he was tossed in there. Robert Gasser. You know, that's pretty good. End of the second round or competitive balance pick. At least it wasn't like a 10th rounder. Not a bad auto right there. And to sweeten the pot, it is a first parallel. And look at that. Luis Angel Acuna. This guy is going to be big, folks. He is going to be big. By the way, if you're not... Uh, if you haven't caught on yet, there was no minor league season in 2020, so they might as well just not even put that on there. Look at that hair on Ricky Tiedemann. What is that? Ricky, you got to get rid of that. I mean, I mean that could be a cool gimmick and stuff, but I don't know. That looks like it's some sort of like 
Yorkie, like a little Yorkie teacup, just clinging onto your shoulder there. That doesn't even look like it goes on your on your head. At least let it all go out, and so it's you know goes everywhere, kind of like a la Randy Johnson. That is got to do something about that, man. Just trying to help you out. I don't know if you're watching, but Ricky Tiedemann has the most interesting hair of Bowman Draft. We can give you that award, Ricky. Congratulations, most interesting hair. And there's my guy, J Rod. Julio Rodriguez on the back. I would love to find his auto in this. Asa Lacey's a good prospect. There he is, Colton Kowser. That's another nice one. Orioles fans can get excited about him, Colton Kowser. He was the fifth overall pick in the draft. He might be ready before too long. I think he was a college pick. And uh, what? They give you his 2021 stats because he was college, I guess. The college season ends really early. And look at those crazy stats. 1170 OPS. He's going to be good. 10th overall prospect in all the MLB. So Orioles, get excited. Max Myers, another one to get excited about if you're a Marlins fan. He was a high pick last year. I think top five, maybe third overall. Tristan Casas coming up next. There's JC Correa again. There's my guy, Marcelo Mayer. Marcelo Mayer once again. And one of these days I'll say his name right. There's Elrod. Nice refractor. That is a nice one. It's not numbered in case you were wondering. Check it out on the back. But it's a refractor. Too bad it's not his first Bowman, but you got to put the big guy in there. Pete Crow Armstrong, that's a nice one. No longer in his match uniform. He is now on the Cubbies. He was a first-rounder in the 2020 draft. Some trades have been going on, if you haven't noticed. And there he is, J-Rod. He is my guy. Like, if you had to say, pick one prospect you're excited about, not including Wander Franco. He doesn't count anymore. He's been in the big leagues. He's been his, like, third in the Rookie of the Year voting or whatever. He's no longer a prospect. I got to say, it's J-Rod. He's my number one guy that I am going to be so excited about coming up this year. Bobby Witt's pretty good, too. Maybe a narrow second right there. But uh, J-Rod, I can't wait to see what he does. We'll have to see when they call him up. We'll have to see. This uh, This whole um, collective bargaining agreement might make things a little muddy. Like, there's some possibilities that we could have some changes to the arbitration system where teams won't manipulate player service time by keeping them in the minor leagues until early to mid-June. So if that happens, we might see him a lot earlier because he's ready. If you look at his stats, Aaron Zavala, once again, man, this is the Aaron Zavala box, and there's no autograph in there. we got three packs left that we could possibly find it. We shall see. There's Austin Hendrick once again. Get some repeats now. And there's Jordy Barley. Kind of looks like a younger Josh Bell right there. Kind of a cool look for him. All right, here we go with our... Third to last pack. Getting down to it now, folks. Thank you very much for being here tonight. We'll be breaking tomorrow, and I think I might head on out tomorrow, maybe after the break, and uh, do a video of some retail places, maybe grab some cards, do a Walmart video or something like that. Saturday showdowns on New Year's Day. That's a nice Harry Ford Invicta. Nice looking card right there. It is a super thick card as well. Take a look at the, uh, the stock on that. Good card right there. Benny Montgomery once again. We got two packs left. There's the big guy, Spencer Torkelson. Yeah, I'm excited about him too. You might be, what about Torque? Super excited about Torkelson. I'm super excited about Henry Davis. But right now, it's just, uh, it's just, he's he's on the precipice right now. J-Rod, he's going to be coming up and uh, tearing it up, I think. Hopefully he doesn't have a, uh, a Jared Kelnick stretch. Novi Marte is another nice one up there. So you got a lot of nice youngsters that you can count on. Kind of stinks that uh, Kyle Seeger. After he was told he wasn't going to be back with the Mariners, decided to hang it up. He was uh, always respected him. He played, he played hard, and he was he was good. Probably one day I'll make the the Mariners Hall of Fame, the Team Hall of Fame, not the Baseball Hall of Fame though. There's Michael McGreevy, Michael McGreevy from the Cardinals. He was their first round pick. Christian Hernandez, nice prospect right there. Nick York. What else do we have? There's Harry Ford. We need to find another Henry Davis. How about a Henry Davis autograph to send us off? Well, they're going to give us Ethan Wilson as our third and final auto. Maybe they'll sneak another one in there. That would be kind of nice. I would like that a lot, but I doubt it. Usually Tops is pretty good with that. Ethan Wilson was a good pick from the Phillies. He was a second rounder, 49th overall. So you know what? Your autos were pretty solid, Scott. You didn't get anything like in, in the uh, in the third rounder below. All of them were either first or second rounders. There's Yoki Cespedes. That would be a big name to pull. He's a top-notch prospect, along with uh, Luis Angel Acuna. That's another one you got to look out for, looking for his autograph. There he is again. His base paper, not going to be worth as much since it's not a first. And here we go, final pack, folks. Scott, thank you very much. By the way, if you'd like to join our Patreon, it's $4.99 a month. And you get access to all of our breaks. I sell them all on Patreon, only Patreon. And, uh, you know, I appreciate all you guys supporting the channel. If you'd like to sign up, you can use a credit card or PayPal to sign up. And 
you can find the link in the description to this video, or you can just type in join Jab Shelly Patreon. It should take you to the main landing page. There's Owen Kellington out of 250 purple. That's a nice one right there. Brennan Davis, Colton Cowser, Chrome. As we kind of wrap this up for tonight, Marcelo Mayer. Another Cowser, that's a refractor. And Nelvi Marte, another nice prospect. He also is a refractor variation right there. Let's see if we can end it off with a Henry Davis. How about a Nick Gonzalez? He was the Pirates number one overall pick last year. We'll probably see him maybe at the end of this year, midway through the year. We'll see how close he is to being ready. Last card is Jackson Merrill. So that'll do it, folks. 2021 Bowman Draft is out. It's good. I like it. We'll be breaking it tomorrow. I hope you'll join us for this tomorrow, right after lunchtime on the East Coast, probably about 12.30 p.m. Eastern time. Sorry about the auction, folks. Um, I will likely do an auction again on probably Sunday or Monday. Those are probably looking like two good days. I mean, we've got New Year's Eve and we've got New Year's Day coming up. Those probably wouldn't be good. I think a lot of you are probably going to want to just maybe relax, hang out with the family or whatever. I'll still have videos for you. Don't worry about that. We'll still be uploading some standalone videos. But thank you very much, folks, for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your evening. And I will see you all tomorrow for the live stream of this product. Good night, everybody.